Fishing. The Arabs used to carry out the organized exploitation of the abundant fish stocks of the Albufera. Following the reconquest, various kings who owned their share of the lake also reaped the benefits by taking a fifth of any catch taken from its waters. King James I granted this activity legal status in the year 1250, when the fishing regulations were first established for the community of fishermen of El Palmar, made up then by residents of Rusafa, who settled permanently on the island of El Palmar to fish on the Albufera. Later on, the same foundations would be laid in the communities of fishermen of the nearby towns of Silla and Catarroja. From 1857 on, fishing, the most profitable activity, started to be regulated in a more orderly fashion. Back then, the first agreements were signed between different fishing brotherhoods from the area in order to have taxes paid in cash and not in kind, which until then had been the most usual method. Among the fishing companies, El Palmar stood out due to its specific organization. The fishermen of this district of Valencia were organized in a unique, democratic manner. They were, and still are, governed by a committee that meets three times a year. The most important of these meetings is held on the second Sunday of July, when there's a raffle to allocate the fishing permits, or redolines, among the members of the community of fishermen of El Palmar. Entitlement to a redoli is passed on through inheritance, donation or sale. Before the industrial development of the lake's catchment area, fishing contributed substantial economic profit. The clean water of the Albufera contained highly diverse and abundant fish stocks, of note among which were the sea bass, eels and freshwater shrimp such as nayades or dog cockles, where mother-of-pearl buttons were extracted. At present, sea bass and eel fishing has decreased noticeably in favor of grey mullet fishing, according to Bordo, our fisherman from El Palmar. Nowadays, we only have carp and mullet left. You have to remember that in the 1960s or 70s, we could fish, well, up to 80 and 90,000 kilos worth of one type of eel, and just one type, and just as much of any other type. Nowadays, it's only 2,000. 